Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Yesterday we heard that China is now putting a resolution. Um, doesn't have India's name on it, but it is condemning this terrorist attack that happened in Pakistan. So we know there were about 10 people that were killed and it was a reign of terror, no doubt. But of course, Imran Khan has gotten up on his pedestal and is pointing the fingers at India and blaming India for this terrorist attack. And now China, who is buddies with them, is putting in this resolution at the UN. This is such another bully tactic by China. Yeah, definitely. And like China going encroaching onto the border and then them bringing, oh, we're not allowed to bring guns. Oh, we're going to bring bats with nails in them. Like they're going over the rules. What they're supposed to do. Yeah. To their advantage. And, you know, the world has been silent on this a lot. This is not the first time they've brought stuff up. This is, um, Kashmir was the other issue they tried to bring up at the UN. You know, where is the resolution on COVID-19? Where is the resolution on, you know, getting an investigation in to get the answers that we need so the world doesn't keep dying from this? Where is the resolution on Uyghur Muslims, 2 million Uyghur Muslims that are in concentration camps? Where is the resolution on 2611 when we knew that every single terrorist that walked around that shot hundreds, hundreds of people over four days? Where was the resolution in that when every single one of them we know for a fact came from Pakistan? You know? The world's not speaking out. Nobody is speaking out against China. And so China thinks we're all stupids. And they can do whatever they they want. do whatever they want. This is not the first time. And this is the time. Right now is the time to strike back. This is the time to get them back. Modi started with the apps. He's getting the border ready. We know the fighter jets are coming. We know the border is, is getting tight. And we know he went and spoke with the soldiers. Um, you know, to thank them for their service and and to give them inspiration. But he is not going to back down. And I know India doesn't start the war, but they're sure as hell going to finish it. So we're going to do this video because it talks about a little bit about how, you know, Imran Khan tries to do the good thing on the news. But again, this is what comes up is yeah. the crap that follows behind. So... Um, this is about the Hindu temple that rattles Pakistan extremist. Shocker. Pakistan was created in the name of Islam. Mm-hmm. The construction of a temple on Pakistani soil is against the very spirit of Islam. These are not my words. These are the wise words of a certain Parvez Ilahi, the Speaker of Pakistan's Punjab Assembly and one of Imran Khan's strongest allies. Mr. Ilahi is against the construction of a temple and a crematorium in Islamabad. His reasons are simple. He just doesn't want his prime minister to go the secular way. Yeah. So, Islam ke naam par wujud mein aaya tha aur iske darul hukumat Islamabad mein naya mandir banana shouldn't be made in the name of religion. But ye rasd e Madina ki bhi to hain hai. Hum aqeedaton ke hukoon ke saath hain. Pehle se maujood jo mandir hain unki marhamat ki jaani chahiye. You're not with the minorities, we know that. Yeah. He just doesn't want new temples. His views may be archaic. Yeah. But Mr. Ilahi is not the only one who thinks so. He's speaking for many in Pakistan. There are lawyers opposing the temple's construction. Just two days back, an advocate filed a petition in the Islamabad High Court. The purpose was uh, was the same. Stop the construction of the new temple. And the logic given was the same. Instead of constructing a new temple, why not renovate the old ones, they said. Then we have clerics against the temple's construction. Mufti Ziauddin, a top cleric in Pakistan, has even issued a fatwa, a ruling under the Islamic law. This fatwa declares the temple's construction illegal because according to this cleric, building new places of worship is not permitted in Islamic nations. Is it now? <laughs> I love Last that they can make the up their own rules. Mm-hmm. Islamic kingdom had allotted land for building a temple. But in Pakistan, constructing new temples is un-Islamic. Forcefully converting minorities, meanwhile, is permitted. Yeah, of course we it is. We see it as this hypocrisy which deserves yeah. a fatwa. 
And let me remind you this, the hypocrisy is by no means limited to matters of religion. It is on display every time Pakistan cries foul over terror. Mm -hmm. Look at some recent developments. First, the Pakistani Prime Minister called Osama bin Laden a martyr. Then he tried blaming India for the attack on the Karachi Stock Exchange last week. Yesterday, this hypocrisy was called out at the United Nations Security Council. By yes, China, no doubt, yeah. right? Whether His Allies best China friends. Drafted yeah. a statement condemning the attack in Karachi. Now, this statement was placed under a silent procedure. Of course Meaning, it was. If no member state objects, then the draft is considered adopted. That's why it's called silent. But sure enough, objections were raised. The silence was broken. First by Germany, then by America. Yes. What's the point yeah. of these objections? Mm -hmm. It's just a way to send a message to Pakistan. You cannot call Osama bin Laden a martyr and then expect the world to sympathize with you. Least of all, when right. you blame yeah. India for a terror attack. Yeah. Now, China's statement did not mention India. It was a generic statement to deal with the standard for condemning all mm -hmm. terror attacks. So it was passed, but with, not without the UN sending a clear message to Pakistan. As for the attack, the Balochistan Liberation Army has taken responsibility. Why did they do what they did? To send a warning to Pakistan and China to quit Balochistan. Allah Nazar Baloch, a prominent pro-independence Baloch leader, has said, and I quote, China has made a long-term plan to make Balochistan an undeclared colony to dominate the world. Pakistan has cheaply mortgaged Baloch lands to China. Baloch are the only ones fighting the modern imperialist monster. The attack on the base of Chinese money lenders in Karachi is in continuation to retrieve our strategic assets, unquote. Now, the Karachi Stock Exchange is 40% Chinese-owned. Pakistan's excesses mm. in Balochistan are a matter of record. But we don't endorse terror attacks and killings. No. Suffice to say, Pakistan is reaping what it sows. Yeah, when you harbor terrorists. Yeah. So the country that harbors terrorists is now blaming India, the country who has not started a war, has not started a fight, has mm -hmm. been doing these terrorist attacks. And yeah. the country who had the most biggest terrorist in the world, Osama bin Laden, is blaming India for this. Of course they are. You know, once in a while, Imran Khan does something good. Like, he planted all those trees. Yeah. He let, um, when the festival, the Punjabi, they, he let, the, he opened um, the doors up to go across. Um, then, you know, then he's talking about building this temple. I know some of it's for politics and to not look so bad. But, okay, he's trying. Sometimes he's trying. Um, we can give him that. But yeah. he's... Every single time he gets up on that platform, it's either Kashmir and now it's this. India is is supporting these terrorists or these terrorists come from India. I don't know what the hell he's talking. He's crazy. But here's the thing. China's supporting mm -hmm. Pakistan with this. Not literally saying India, but meaning it. Yeah. But how stupid do they think the world is? Really because stupid. Because we haven't stopped this. We haven't said anything about this. Mm -hmm. And we should have. We should have gotten on it. Yeah. Everybody, nobody has said anything against China. None of these resolutions have been against China. And yet this is probably the fifth um, worldwide pandemic that came out of China. Almost 50% or more of the 10 biggest pandemics Viruses. are from China. Yeah. They have over 2 million Uyghur Muslims in concentration tramps trying to change the Quran, the religion that your country, you say, is based off of. They're trying to change it and silence them. And you're and apparently best you're friends not, with them. And you're friends with them, and you're not saying, you're not speaking out against them. We know they've taken a lot of your women and turned them into prostitutes. Like, there's one thing after the other. We know China's your buddy. They're, you know, giving you um, secret nuclear information that you're not supposed to have for good reasons when you harbor terrorists in your country. But this is ridiculous. India, like you said, has never, ever started a war. They have always had people come in and start stuff, but they have always defended themselves. And China, this is not going to scare the lions right now. They Modi is ready. Modi G is ready. He's got fighter jets coming. They're getting the border already. We know that if push comes to shove right now, he has most of the large 
Western countries, developed countries that have lots of power on his side. You know, the United States is on Modi's side right now. You have the UK on Modi's side right now. You have, you know, um, Israel on Modi's side right now. There are a lot of big countries, Russia, that will stand behind Modi on this. And you need to back down. Yeah. This is not... Bullying is not going to work anymore. This is 2020. You act like this is the 1600s, the because, way you treat people. Yeah, the way they treat people. Plus, they're like, oh, India did this. We have satellites. Yeah, there are satellite images that didn't come from India. They came from the U.S. that said they're encroaching on the line that they're not supposed to be on. And they're still doing it. You know, this is not... The tw- you know, this is the 20th century. This is not way back when, when you can get away with crap. Yeah. You know, you're, you're silencing Hong Kong now. You've taken Tibet, and we hope that the freedom comes back for the Do- Holy Dalai Lama to go back to his own country and not be considered a terrorist. There you go. The totally. Holy Dalai Lama, the one that talks about everybody has good in them, you're considered a terrorist. I think you need to get a wake-up call. And this is the time. This is the time the U.S. needs to slam China and all the other countries. You, We've all been affected by this coronavirus. It's not the first virus. And they need resolutions against them. But it needs to be the last virus that China has put out here. And yeah. China needs to get off that UN seat or we need to stop yeah. this. Like, seriously. Yeah. And somebody needs to put a resolution in opening their doors, um, letting people investigate. What about COVID-19? And what about all the other viruses that came out of China? It's not the first time. You know, we hope it's the last, but, we hope, but we people need to get and yeah. investigate and China needs a good slap in the face. So and and then we hear. So not only did India ban 59, 59. Chinese apps. Go ahead. Yeah, I know you want to but, talk about this. Yeah, I know. They also said China. China also said that India, they want to support India and this is going to help India if they bring back those 59 Chinese apps. I'm like, who are you kidding? Yeah, that India is going to lose jobs if they take away those apps. They feel bad for the Indian people that might lose jobs because they're not they're letting gonna them have earn apps. more jobs without those 59 Chinese apps. Right. So now there are some Indian apps. Anjali checked it out. There's Indian apps similar to TikTok. So you guys can all put that on your phone. That will be supporting Made in India. Mm-hmm. We so support Made in India. So these are the things that you can do. China is trying their best to either bully you or pretend like they feel bad for you. If they felt bad for you, they would support Made in India and they wouldn't have caused this pandemic. Oh, uh, and they wouldn't have crossed the border with frickin' wrapped barbed wire on sticks yeah. and rocks. You know, they think we're stupid, but hopefully this is a huge, huge wake-up call for everybody in the world. We are done with this. This is yeah. not 1600s anymore. This is 2020. We have satellites on you, and we're not taking your garbage anymore. We don't need your apps. We don't need your cheap plastic toys. You can keep them. So... We are going to react on Modi G's message to the soldiers um, to get them ready and to thank them for their wonderful service um, on the border. And um, hopefully you guys like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful Growing Jan family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.